Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got this multicolored, beautiful unit. If you wanna see how I did that, stay tuned. So if y'all was feeling all them colors in that unit, then this is how I did it. So obviously I had already made a unit. These are our 613 bundles in straight. The only way to describe these bundles is silky and buttery. Yeah, so I just made a unit with those bundles. I've got 22, 22 and an 18 inch frontal. So what I did was I started off with our base colors. Now for this unit, I wanted to do like just a mad creation of different colors and different layers. Now on this first layer, I had put um, at the base a mixture of indigo blue, periwinkle and titanium. By the way, all these colors are from the Adore line. And then you can see that I'm rubbing in now a lighter shade of blue. This was a mixture of baby blue and jade by Adore. I'm just rubbing it in to make sure that it's blended. And I also like to comb it out as I'm going along. You're gonna see me do that throughout the whole of this video. Then at the tips, I'm putting sweet mint mixed with a tiny bit of jade. I'm trying to achieve a cool mint color. So what I'm doing now is just combing it out, meshing the colors together, getting them to mix to be a nice ombre effect. Um, and this is how it looks once it's all combed out. Now, as I get to the next layer, I like to keep it a little bit consistent with the roots, but you'll see how I change it up when I get to the front. So for now, I'm just adding the same base that I did on the first layer. Now for the surprise element, I'm adding a nice pinky kind of orangey color. This was a mixture of soft lavender and fruit punch from a door. adding the same root color on the next layer I'm going back in with a nice blue so here I've decided to add a bit more baby blue and a bit more jade to this color and to just work it all the way through to the tips Now in order to work faster, what I like to do is to get the whole middle section and to fill that with the same root color, which is a mixture of indigo blue, periwinkle and titanium. So what I did was I did that throughout the whole middle and then what I'll do is I'll go back through each row and then add the different like layers that I wanna put at the end. So in this layer, I'm adding the light blue mixture, which has a lot more jade in it and baby blue. And here is the other layer, which has a lot of soft lavender and fruit punch. Now as I get to the top middle layer, I'm adding a more purpley undertone to the roots. So what I did to achieve that was more periwinkle and more titanium. It kind of dies down the dark harshness of the indigo blue. Once I was happy with that, I went back to the blue colors, but I did add a bit more um, navy to this bit, just to make it a bit more deep. 
as I said, this is my crazy little creation. There was no plan to it. I just literally went with my gut and I was very happy with the results. You'll see what I mean. of the unit where the frontal is and this is the part where you need to take extra care and go extra slow only because you don't want to get any of the dye on the lace because it will be difficult to remove and in some cases you won't be able to take it off so what I like to do is to use a little toothbrush now I'm using the two-sided edge brush you can get this from our website luxebeautyessentials.com I like to use this little brush because it gets in all the nooks and crannies it gets all the little loose hairs and it gets the job done so in this section on the roots, I'm only using periwinkle and titanium mixed together because I wanted to create a kind of denim sort of greyish effect when, like when you part it. And then on the end, I'm putting a very nice purple pink. I achieved this colour with soft lavender, fruit punch and a bit of burgundy red. <laughs> As you can see, I'm starting on the sides first and then once I'm ready, I'll head on over to the middle section. Y'all, you cannot begin to imagine how distraught I was when I turned around and realized that my mannequin head had knocked over. I was so scared that the dye would go everywhere, but thank God it did it because I don't know why, but the Adore dye is just amazing with settling into, this, um, into the hair straight away. So there wasn't really a lot of mess once I was cleaning up after. So I'm happy about that. So here you can see I moved on to the middle section. I am adding the same dye that I was adding before, which is periwinkle and titanium. Just making sure that I get it as close as possible to the roots without getting it on the lace. I'm telling you, this two-sided edge brush is the key to getting them roots to look flawless. Because there's a mini comb on the other side, so you can use that to kind of like comb it in and let it like infuse with the hair even more. For the ends of this middle section, I am still using soft lavender and fruit punch, but I added a bit more of the burgundy red to it because I wanted an even deeper pink in the middle section. And here's the unit with all the colors added. Now it's time to tint the roots. Now, the reason why I do this is because I want the knots of the lace and the lace to kind of match your skin tone when you part it because sometimes on a 613 frontal the knots are like white or blonde and it just doesn't look natural. So here I'm using Weller 7B dye mixed with Blonde Me 20 developer. I just mixed it together like one to one ratio and just applied it all over the lace. Now be careful not to leave this on for longer than six minutes because it does dye very quickly. Once 
once you're finished adding the tint turn it around so it's face down that way it won't leak into the hair and here's just me parting it now here is the final result once it's been washed blow dried and straightened i'm in love with the results one of my clients rocking this unit it looks even better on even though this unit's been dyed it's still got body and movement thank you for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to seeing you guys soon and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future videos from me